Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how I set up my thermal imaging device. Um, first, you need to get your Ethernet wire plugged in. This is the communication wire for the camera. Plug that into the back of your Windows tower. Uh, and my tower, my Ethernet port is open because I'm using Wi-Fi uh, for my internet. So it doesn't seem to impact. I, I still have internet. Um, if you're hardwired to the internet, well then you're just gonna have to switch wires when you wanna use the camera. Um, once you have that, uh, this device doesn't have an on off switch. So I just unplug the power when I'm not using it. Plug your power back in. Uh, it will, you'll hear some beeping noises uh, when it starts up. The next thing you need to do in Windows 10, or any Windows version actually, is go to the control panel uh, to get there on Windows 10, it doesn't really pop up anymore, so you have to start typing in control under the start menu, and you will see control panel come up. Click on control panel, go to internet settings, network and sharing. You want to change the adapter settings for the ethernet wire, go to properties, and here you're going to go to the IP4 property, and you're going to set this information like this. Now I assume that all these thermal cameras have the same local IP address uh, as this one. So, and if you're not if you're not sure, you can always check your book. Um, there is some numbers there that you can read. That is the local IP address. That should be there. Once that is done, just go ahead and close all of these windows. Here we will open up the software, which uh, you should already have installed on your Windows 10 system. And there it is. Now I have an iPad uh, mini under here that has a, a, a serious short on it. In fact, the power module, the power IC chip is actually burned out. Um, on this software, on the very top up here, you click on this guy you can change between the camera and the thermal camera and these here are just different color palettes I prefer to have the rainbow color palette I think this just takes a picture or a picture so you can compare it side by side but these are the two main ones that you're going to want to use um, let me go ahead and just power on my DC power supply to give my iPad some power. And you'll see right away on here the heat where my power management chip is actually burned out. Now how you control that is on the bottom. Here, you un uncheck this little guy and I can control the heat range that I want to see by dragging these bars. I just drag it down small and then you can move this entire bar You'll notice how I can reduce uh, the temperature zone and where, where I'm seeing heat. So I can really narrow it down to right where that problem is. My bar is way over here. And if I scroll this way, it shows a wider heat range. And this narrows it down. And that's it in a nutshell.